Congratulations, Batman and Bob Kane. Now, accepting the star today for the Kane family is a renowned comic artist and current co-publisher of DC Entertainment. As co-publisher, he directs and oversees DC Entertainment's publishing businesses under its key three imprints, which are DC Comics, Vertigo, and Mad. He has overseen many of the company's highly successful publishing programs, including the new 52 initiative that relaunched the entire line of monthly superhero comic books. And as part of the revamp, he designed new, more contemporary costumes for some of DC's most iconic characters, including Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. As one of the most popular artists in American comics, he has illustrated many of DC Comics' best-selling comic books and graphic novels. Please welcome Jim Lee to the set. Hey, thanks for coming out. Uh, it is my honor to be here today, and I'd like to uh, personally thank the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce and Anna Martinez for hosting this fantastic event for Batman fans all over the world. I'd also like to thank Councilman Mitchell Farrell for recognizing Bob Kane's great achievements. And I'd also like to personally thank you guys for inviting me. I'm a recent arrival to Los Angeles, and I can't think of a better, more thrilling, prototypically Hollywood thing to be a part of than this celebration. So it's very, very cool to be a part of this. Uh, I'm here today not just to represent DC Entertainment, but also Bob Kane's family and his wife, Elizabeth Kane, who has uh, graced us here with her presence. Thank you very much for coming out. And this coming Saturday would have marked uh, Bob Kane's 100th birthday, so it's very fitting that we are celebrating his birthday, uh, this, uh, celebrating him this particular way this week. So uh, Elizabeth and Bob had a very special relationship, and her enduring love for him had been a driving force in ensuring his legacy lives on. In fact, in the nomination letter for this Hollywood Walk of uh, Fame star, Elizabeth said, Throughout his life, Bob won many awards, but I know deep in my heart that the greatest tribute of all to his work would be the honor of a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's been more than 75 years since Bob, along with collaborators including Bill Finger, created the Cape Crusader. Little did they know at the time that the immense impact the character would have on pop culture for decades to come. From comics to film to television to video games, I think it's safe to say Batman kicks ass. Yes. Uh, I actually had the pleasure of meeting Bob Kane one time, and as a young comic artist, it was a very seminal moment in my career, actually in my life. We actually appeared on a TV show, ironically called Bob, it was named after Bob Newhart, uh, and we played ourselves. It was a fictional awards ceremony, and we basically came in tuxedos, and uh, I don't really remember much about the episode, uh, thankfully it's not on Netflix, so you can't check it out, but uh, Bob Kane kind of came on to set and he had this real swagger, and his tuxedo just fit him to the nines, and he had this very kind of bon vivant kind of attitude, and you could really see uh, his personality kind of command the room, and in my mind I was thinking, that's, that's Bruce Wayne. And I really much underscores the, the belief that us creators, we creators, when we create things, we imbue them with elements of our own personality. So when I think of Batman, I think of Bruce Wayne, I think of the spirit of Bob Kane. And so it's very cool that we all can enjoy his work, but also appreciate the spirit of Bob through the many creations he's given us. So it's with great honor that I accept this award on behalf of Elizabeth, Bob's family, and Batman fans around the world. Here's to another 75 great years with the Dark Knight. Thank you. So Jim, we now have a presentation to you from the city, and we want to bring up to make that pre presentation Mitchell Farrell, who represents the 13th District and the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So as soon as the uh, noise uh, goes by, the trucks, we will have Council Member Mitchell Farrell. Thank you, thank you so much, Laron. Thank you, Chamber of Commerce, Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, for doing these events, for overseeing the Walk of Fame, so that we all across the world have a place to come 
and visit those that we uh, can relate to and know and love and are our superheroes. I gotta tell you, Batman for me was always a superhero that I could relate to and who always inspired me toward good behavior. What a role model that is and what a role model that the world needs. The world needs Batman as a superhero. Do you all agree? Yeah. I remember very clearly from the 1960s, I was five years old when the Batman TV series came out and it was my favorite show and it continues to inspire me to this day. Uh, during his lifetime and now well past it, Bob Kane has inspired millions and millions of people across the world with his enduring creation has served as a symbol for justice for generations. As Batman's legacy and legend endures, so does Bob Kane's. And with this star, it will endure in perpetuity. For these reasons, Bob is truly deserving of this star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Congratulations and God bless on behalf of the Los Angeles City Council and the Mayor. Uh, we honor you today. Thank you so much. And congratulations, Jim Lee, as well. Thank you.